All right, Stock Master fans, we're going to watch something I'm looking forward to. I haven't seen it in a long, long time. It's called Double Exposure. Let's watch. Our movie starts with an undercover cop being murdered. It's a man dressed up as a woman, and she's got a screwdriver in her neck. Well, his neck, I guess. Adrian on the right is having dreams. Bizarre, crazy dreams. Sometimes. It's the actor Michael Callan. That time. And he's with his psychiatrist here. This is his brother PJ on the right. Actor James Stacy who has one missing arm and one missing leg. In real life and in the movie. Oh, come on, spare me, These are the cops. That's Pamela Hensley and uh, the chief is Cleavon Little from Blazing Saddles. But Charlie made the mistake. We didn't. No, you made the mistake, buddy, because Charlie is dead. The actress Joanna Pettit. He recently just met Adrian, and they're dating now. Adrian's a photographer. Hold it. Give me a good one. Anything special you want to do for me? The next thing you know, Adrian is killing her. But is this a dream or is this a reality? Here we have a prostitute. That is the actress Sally Kirkland in a revealing outfit. Well, whoever she was talking to followed her into the alley and choked her to death. Remember that girl in the pool who was killed? What we thought it may have been a dream? It happened. So, is Adrian our killer? Look closely, you'll see SNL member Victoria Jackson. Here's uh, Joanna Pettit in bed with Adrian. Is that a dream? Actually, that's not Joanna Pettit. He's in bed with somebody else. Is that a dream? Die, boy. Jealous husband. Again, he's having some horrible dreams, but what's real and what isn't? Our photographer is doing a garbage bag ad and said, put this bag on your head. He grabbed a different bag, put a snake in there. While the snake bites her and kills her, he sits there and takes pictures of it. That's wicked. Adrian's having some sort of freak out. Maybe I should kill myself. Yes! So he does decide to kill himself. Or is that a nightmare too? There's a lot of them in this movie. Things seem to be moving pretty swimmingly for uh, Adrian and Mindy. There's a Joanna Pettit Newts in here, which I won't show you. Because I can't. Meanwhile, the police discover the body of that girl who was killed by the snake. So that was no dream, that was actually happening. It's the actress Debbie Zip. This movie also features some mud wrestling, because why not? That's uh, Adrian and Mindy attending the matches. Oh, 
It's actually BJ in there in the ring now. And uh, the mother wrestler used a nasty tactic to pin him. Works every time. And here we have a guy who gets killed. Always seems to do with a screwdriver of some sort. And what's going on here? Another dream, another kill. Here he gets mad at his psychiatrist. That girl we just saw killed in the trailer. Her body's now been found. They searched the photography studio of Adrian's and they found pictures of dead bodies of the obviously the victims they've discovered. And we saw some foreshadowing in this scene earlier. Here's Mindy out looking for Adrian, I think. Oh, thank God it's you. Adrian and BJ get together here. I wanted to find you. I think you're the killer. Me like mom. No, BJ, no! Yes! 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 Why you? Clearly looks now that BJ is our killer. He's got him tied up now. BJ admits everything to his brother, but right before he kills him, Mindy, who I guess wasn't dead, rescued him by killing him. Just as the police arrives, and that ends our film. Alright, let's talk about Double Exposure. Now, this is a movie that um, I know I saw when I was a kid. I couldn't remember what the movie was. It was one of those movies that stuck in my mind for years and years. What was that movie with the brothers and blah, blah, blah? Um, I remember looking back to my cable guides over and over again for years, and finally I figured out that it was probably this film called Double Exposure. Um, but none of my video stores had it in my area. So uh, at one point I actually tracked the movie down and decided to just buy it outright. I think I bought it probably in the early 90s, 92, 91, maybe even 1990, I don't know. Um, actually, maybe a couple years younger than that, maybe in 89. But finally tried it down to watch it, and sure enough, that was the movie. I was so happy to have it. It was just felt like a thrill just to actually have that movie in my collection at the time. I had the pre-recorded VHS of it. So anyway, um, I watched it again, maybe about 10 years later. Maybe about, Actually, yeah, some in the late 90s or so. And then I watched it again today. I hadn't seen it in probably well over 20 years-ish in that range. So um, there's a nice Blu-ray DVD combo available from Vinegar Syndrome now, so I picked it up. Um, it's about a movie. It's a guy who's um, he's a photographer, and he has these horrible dreams that he's killing these models, uh, some of the people that he photographs and other people, just other women and even some men in his lives too. He has these horrible dreams that he's killing them. He's seeing a psychiatrist, blah, blah, blah. He has a brother played by uh, James Stacy, I think is the actor's name, and uh, his brother um, is missing an arm and missing one leg. And it is a real life actor, James Stacy, who uh, lost those legs in, a, in an accident. <clears throat> and um, it turns out ultimately that the brother is doing all this killing. Um, they must have some sort of psychic connection or whatever, because sure enough, these dreams that he's, that, uh, uh, Adrian is having, uh, Adrian played by Michael Callan, he's having these dreams where he kills these people. And then, you know, a day or two later, the bodies show up. So we do know that the killings are actually happening, but we're led to believe all along that is he really doing this? Is Adrian doing this? But no, we find out eventually that it's his brother, BJ, who's doing it. Uh, in spite of one arm and one leg, he's still managing a way to kill people. And that's pretty much the movie. At the end of the movie, the reveal happens. Uh, BJ ties up Adrian. He's about to kill him. And then Mindy, uh, Joanna Pettit, uh, the girlfriend of Adrian, shows up. She'd been stabbed and presumed dead, uh, but I guess she wasn't dead. She comes in and, and rescues uh, Adrian by stabbing BJ with a screwdriver or something and killing him just as the cops show up as well. 
That's our film. Uh, Pamela Hensley plays one of the cops, as does um, Cleavon Little from Blazing Saddles. He plays the chief. Doesn't have a big part here, but uh, he's in there as well. And that's our film. Uh, there's actually uh, quite a bit of nudity uh, in this movie, more than you would have expected. Some of the gore scenes are actually pretty decent, too. We have some screwdriver deaths, you know, digging into your throats and stuff. That looked pretty cool as well. Um that's about it. Uh, Victoria Jackson, uh, soon to be on SNL, uh, four or five years later, uh, she shows up in this movie. Don't know if that was her first thing that she ever did or not, but uh, she looked pretty young in there as well. She keeps her clothes on, though. Um, a lot of extras on here. Like I said, there's a DVD and a Blu-ray. There's um, uh, I watched a part of an a interview with this guy named uh, Stringer, R. Michael Stringer. He was the cinematographer on this movie. If you look up him on IMDb, he did, uh, he's done a lot of good work that I like. So check that out. It's pretty decent. So the film quality looks great. Vinegar Cinder did a great job with this, so I highly recommend going to pick it up. So anyway, it's called Double Exposure, 1982. There's a couple other films with that same title. Don't be confused. You want this one with Michael Callan, 1982. Check it out from Vinegar Syndrome. Watch it. Leave some comments down below. We'll discuss it. It's called Double Exposure. Watch it. Bye.